Microsoft Word 2013. Tab Stops. Tabs have been around for practically as long as people have been typing. Tabs are the original method for arranging information in rows and columns. Although we can now use tables in Word, there are still many situations that call for tabs to be used. A tab stop is a user-defined place in a paragraph where tabbed text needs to line up with the text on the line above in order to form columns. When you press the tab key on your keyboard, a tab space is created that is one half inch. You can also create and set your own tab stops. There are several different kinds of tab alignments that control how a tab stop will line up with the text on the previous row. There are also options for setting the leader character. Leader characters are used to make it easy for people to read across the tabbed information. You'll see a little bit later how I'll do that to create this menu. A trail of periods is most often used. You can set tab types from the ruler by clicking the tab button located at the far left of the ruler. Here you can see a left aligned tab stop. On each new line of text, all the items in the column will align to each other's left. This creates a center aligned tab stop. So on each new line of text, all the items in the column will align to each other's center. This creates a right aligned tab stop. So that means on each new line of text, all the items in the column will align to each other's right. This creates a decimal aligned tab stop. On each new line of text, all the items in the column will align to each other's decimal points. And this creates a bar aligned tab stop that creates a vertical line. On each new line of text, all the items in the column will align to each other's bars. This is used to simulate table column borders. There are two other functions on this button, but they aren't tab stops. There are alternative methods for setting first line indents and hanging indents. I'll click backspace to bring the word drink all the way back to the left margin, and I'll show you how you can use the ruler to create tabs. Here you can see I have a left tab stop. So what I'll do is go to the ruler and maybe click on one inch. When I do that, I get a left tab. So when I press the tab key, it jumps right to one inch. I could set another one wherever I want, for example, five inches. And if I press tab again, it'll go to the five inch mark. But it's left aligned. Maybe I'd like to make this right aligned. So to remove a tab stop from the ruler, I'll just left click and pull away. To make a right aligned tab stop, I'll simply click until I change the symbol. And I'll click on five, now when I press tab, it's a right aligned tab stop, and I'll pull this one away as well. Another method is to right click and choose paragraph. I could also access this paragraph dialog box by using the launcher on the home ribbon. From here, I'll click on the tabs button. Here I can set my tab stop position, my alignment, as well as a leader. And as I showed you before by pressing the tab key, my default tab stops are set at one half inch. So from before, when I set that one inch left tab stop manually, you can see that in my list. But maybe I'd like to create a different tab stop. Maybe add five and a half inches. So I'll type in 5.5, but I'll make this one right aligned. And I'll need to click set. So now it's in my list, and then I'll click OK. So from here, I'll press tab on my keyboard. I'll jump right to 5.5 inches, and I'll begin typing my text to make this menu. Next, I'll want to take the names of my drinks and move them to the right a little bit, then have a leader all the way over to the price, and then I'll use a decimal aligned tab stop to line up the prices perfectly. Every time I press enter, I create a new paragraph. And sometimes people will show hidden characters. This can be easier to work with tab stops when you can see them on the screen. A tab is a character, but like a space character, it doesn't print and normally can't be seen. You can display hidden characters by clicking the button in the paragraph section of the home ribbon. The icon of the Show Hide button is the Pill Crow. Paragraph breaks created when you press Enter appear as paragraph symbols in your document, spaces appear as mid-level dots between other characters, and tab spaces appear as arrows. So like I said, technically, Espresso is on a new paragraph. So when I launch the box and click on Tabs, I don't have any tab stops in my list. These tab stop positions are specific to each paragraph. I'll begin creating some tab stop positions. So here, I'll type in 0.5, I'll make that left aligned for the drink name, and then I'll need to click set. Next, I'll create a tab stop position at 5.5 inches, but I'll make this decimal aligned, and I'll use this leader. 
and I'll click Set again, and OK. Now when I press Tab, I'll get the leader, and I can begin typing in my prices. And notice the tab stop alignment at 5.5 inches, and the decimal point in $1.84 lines up exactly with that. So if I move to my next paragraph, you'll notice I don't have any tabs set here. But what I can do is click Cancel, and I'll select all of these paragraphs. Right click, and access my tabs box. From here, I'll type in the tab stops that I'd like. I'll do half an inch left tab alignment, click Set, and I'll do another one at 5.5 with a decimal alignment and this leader. Always remember to click Set. And then I'll click OK. So now I can press Tab, I'll get the leader, and I can type in my price. And remember, I still have that left tab stop at half an inch, so I can always go over here and click Tab. And I can also click here, press tab, and continue to type in my prices. So things look pretty good. They're all lined up at exactly five and a half inches, right on the decimal. Maybe I'd like to move price single slash double, so I'll click here, and I can simply drag this over to exactly where I want. I could also select all of these paragraphs, click through here until I find the bar align tab and assign it right here. I'll deselect, hide my characters, and finish up some formatting. And that's Tab Stops in Microsoft Word 2013.